So these are some rules that are going to first start off feeling like what you did in elementary school, and then I'll sort of introduce some uh, slightly more advanced ones. So rounding rules. Rounding rules. Woohoo! Rounding rules. Rounding rules. If the number or the digit trailing your measured value is between 0 and 5, and I, I guess I could have used less than and greater than symbols here, but you know what I mean, between 0 and 5. So for example, 0 0.3543, and I say, hey, let's round this thing off to three decimal places. Is this going to round up or down? Down. Yeah, so that. That 3 here is between 0 and 5, so I'm going to round down if I'm rounding to three decimal places. And I'd say it's 0 0.354. What grade did you learn that in? Grade 2 or 3? Depends on your school. Yeah? Isn't it like um, not including 5? Shh, don't tell anybody. We're almost there. And then the other half of this rule is that if the number trailing your measured value is between the 5 and the 10, we'll call it 10, we know it's not really 10, but you know what I mean, in that range, okay? If it's a value between 5 and 10, just shy of 10. So for example, 0 0.3657, and I want to, again, let's round it off to three decimal places. How would I round this? What would the rounded value be to three decimal places? Yes, sir? It's going to round up. It's going to round up, and what's it going to round to? Uh, three, six, you got it. Three, six, six. So the rule is round up when you're between five and ten. Now here's where the, the next level comes in. And people that did the chemistry course last year, you'll know this. You do know this, right? You've seen this before? Okay. Well, we may not remember it, but you're, maybe it's foggy in the background. All right. If the discarded value, or the discarded digit, let's call it, is 5, and when I say the discarded digit, I want you to understand that in this case, we discarded the 3. In this case, we discarded the 7. You know, when you're playing cards and you have to discard, you're throwing a card away. We threw away the 3 and the 7. If we're going to throw away a 5, there's a special rule. Okay? So if we have a value like this, oopsie. If the discarded digit is a 5, so for example, 6.35, the last digit's a 5, and I want to round this to one decimal place. There's a rule. And I want you to notice that this 3 here is odd. It's an odd number. So this rule has to do with the number preceding the 5 that we're going to toss out. So I'll, I'll write it down. If the preceding digit, and I know that there's something in your way. I'll get it out of your way. If the preceding digit is odd, we're going to round up. So if I want to round to one decimal place, and I'm rounding the value 6.35, I'm going to round it to 6.4. Yeah. So that actually kind of appears like what we did before, like in elementary school. But here's the trick. If I have something like this, 6.45, and I want you to make a note here, 
that the number preceding the 5 is even, if the preceding digit is even, what do you figure you have to do? Round down, yeah. Yes, ma'am? Oh, you got it? Round down? Okay. So what would that value be? If I do it to one decimal place. 6.4. That's what we mean by rounding down, 6.4. And some people would say, that's not fair. So you mean that if I got 6.35, suspend your disbelief. If I got 6.35 on the test, and my friend got 6.45 on the test, I know the test marks don't work out that way, but what if? And you rounded off the marks to put them into your mark book, then we would get the same mark because of the rounding rules? That's just not right. It's true. That's the way the, the rounding rules work, okay? And it, it's there for a statistical reason. It's because on the number line, number five is smack in the middle. And if we go with just the old elementary school method, then we would tend to round more things up than, than average. And so if we do with this new little rule, half of the things that end in a five are going to go up and half of them are going to go down so that it doesn't sort of uh, skew the data statistically. Yep. So like whenever you do this, your final number has to be even? Um, if it happens to end in a five. Yeah. If and only if it happens to end in a five. And somebody in the other class asked, well, what if it doesn't end in a five? 6.3, let's see, 6.352. And I went around it to one decimal place. Does that end in a five? No. no. So does this rule apply? No. If I want to rule, round this guy to one decimal place, does it round up or down? Rounds up. Because that two is just beyond five, which tips the scale up. So this would definitely be 6.4. No doubt about it. Do you see what I mean by that? It's the same if this was 6. Point, oh, I don't know, 6. Point, uh, Two nine, would that round up or down? Round up, no doubt about it. It's past five, it's gonna go up. That's just the way it is, okay? So don't get hung up on the fact that there happens to be a five somewhere in there. This rule only works, or only applies when it ends in a five specifically.